So here's the diaper bag, and I think it is just gorgeous. Okay guys, so he had lunch. Let me show you real quick what he had for lunch. And he'll probably eat more, but this will keep him quiet for a little bit. It is these uh, organic sprout, apple, banana, and butternut squash. And usually when I feed him lunch, I try to at least make sure there is a vegetable and not just a fruit. The reason I like these pouches, I call them pouches, is because um, they're very convenient when you're on the run. I've been out running errands today. You don't need a spoon, you don't need a bowl, you don't have to worry about keeping anything. You can just toss this in the trash once he's done. Plus, he is becoming very independent. So he actually ate this by himself. I just gave it to him and he ate it by himself. It's empty now. And he'll probably eat two of these, but for now he's pretty content because there's really not much in here. Um, it's only 60 calories in here. So he can eat a little bit more. So this isn't heavy enough. But right now he's snacking on something just so I can get through this video. Ah. Let me show you what he's snacking on. And these are pretty healthy. It's called Little Crunchies Gerber uh, Baby Snacks. And it has some fruit in it also. At least it looks like cheese puffs, but it has some fruit in it. It has bananas. It has an apple in it. Apple sweet potato. That's what this one is. So he's snacking on this. And I'm not into a whole lot of baby food snack items, but when they don't have very many teeth, they created this food to be very soft for them so that it can melt with their saliva and go down without choking. Now, if your child is coughing or seeming to be choking on a snack, that's a good thing. I know you may think that's bad, but that's a good thing. That means they're not choking. That means it's coming up, the airway is free, so there's nothing going on. But what I like to do, if they have less than, done, move please. If they have less than six teeth, I like to mash it up really, really fine. I still mash up some of his food because he doesn't have any molars yet. But if they only have four teeth, you want it to be pureed to the fullest. I mean, mashed in your finger and you finger feed him. But once he has six teeth now, he can handle something a little bit better. So I'll give him something that's maybe in half, not really mashed up per se, but still be careful because he doesn't have any molars, okay? All right. Now, there is a shortage of baby milk now, baby formula, but the good thing is he loves to eat food. So that saves us a lot. He, eats, he drinks apple juice and everything too. Not too much because I want to also be careful with sugar intake. Um, most of his apple juice is sugar-free, nothing extra in it. And I don't give him a lot, you know, because I don't want him to start liking juice more than his formula because he still needs that considering he's still a baby. He's nine months old now and... <laughs> He has cheese puffs on his nose. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but okay. Um, before I get to what's in his bag, I'm going to go ahead and pour him some milk since he had lunch. And um, make sure that he continues to be content while we're going through this video. Okay? All right. So let's get your milk ready. So that you can continue to be happy and this is ready to feed which simply means you don't need to mix it with anything it's ready to feed for all of you new parents new first time parents okay <coughs> and as i say um periodically in my videos my content is not to offend anyone you do whatever you want to do but you just never know Sometimes I can say something that could really help a new mom or a new dad and it's not to offend anyone. If you are already comfortable with how you, you know, do things every day with your child, then by all means continue. This just to give someone a guideline because a lot of new moms and new dads are very, very um, 
They don't feel relaxed and comfortable with the choices that they make and they're not sure. And sometimes they just need a little bit of feedback. Um, I've been messaged, I've had emails where some people say, hey, I don't have anyone and I'm a first time parent and I don't have anyone. My husband and I, we don't have family for whatever reason. And it's just good to kind of see some of your videos because it gives us a little peace of mind, okay? So here's the milk. Had to make sure it's clicked on tight. All right, there you go. Now we can get to what's in my bag. And I am going to put the description of the bag, like what the brand or whatever it is down in the description. So if you're interested in it, you can definitely go and check the bag out on your own. But here we go. So, oh, you, you, you got it upside down. Look, you had, your, you had it upside down. All right. So we got a different setup here because we have a lot of Christmas decor out. So um, we're not sitting in our exact places where we usually sit. Okay. Oh, that's gross. Yeah. All right. All right, you got your milk. You happy? You got this. Let me get him a toy too, just to be sure. Okay, so I'm gonna try to breeze through this really quick. So here's the diaper bag. And I think it is just gorgeous. It is a blush pink. Let me see if you see it. Oh, you can't really see. Okay. I'll get I'll give you a close-up. But it's a blush, blush pink, and it is a backpack diaper bag, which I absolutely love when you're a mom, but you also have the options to carry it like this. Now you can carry it on the shoulders. You can make it a crossbody if you want, as long as you are pushing the baby in the stroller. But I say, if you have a stroller, just put this down in the bottom of your stroller. If you have like a basket of compartment of some type of in your stroller. But you never want to do crossbody if you got the baby in your arms or if you're carrying a, a carry seat in the arm in your arms. You never want to do this. Um, it has pockets on both sides, right here, both sides, and beautiful, beautiful gold detailing. Very beautiful gold detailing. A little drawstring. That's I think it's just there for. Aesthetics purposes. It doesn't really do anything because it has ruching here, but this doesn't really do anything. Um, I like that it zips instead of snap because when you have a baby who has time to snap anything, I don't. So it unzips really quick for you so you can get in and out of it really quickly. I'm going to put him down for a nap and I'll be right back. It's only going to take me about a second just to put him down because he goes to bed with, with white noise and a, and, a, and a pacifier or something, and he's good to go. So give me one second because I want to get through this, and I want you guys to really see and hear everything without his interruption. And I think he's a little tired, okay? Okay, now it's nice and quiet, all right? So also I want to mention before I go inside the bag is it has a little hook also on it just in case you like to hang it somewhere. Maybe if you're at church and you got your baby at the daycare at the church or maybe a nursery or maybe even your own closet at home, you can hang it up by the hook if you like, or you can just simply put it up on the shelf. But I think it is a very attractive diaper bag, very attractive. And I know he's a little boy, but just think about this. You are the one that's actually going to carry the bag, use the bag. It has zero to do with him in terms of the content and everything. So I say by all means, get something that you definitely will enjoy. Now, I don't know if dads would like to carry this color, but if you do, it is in blush pink. I'm not sure what other colors it come in, but it is also a very practical bag as well. Everything is inside of this bag so neatly 
and I like how practical it is in terms of you can actually see everything in this bag and it's all nice and neat and laid out where you don't have to really dig and try to search. I hate diaper bags that's so big, they have so many compartments and you cannot feel or see what's in it. When you have a baby, you want everything to be very quick. You need it fast, especially a fussy baby or a baby that's, you know, moving a lot and you're trying to do a diaper change or something. You really want to get to everything really fast. Okay, it has a compartment up here as well. And I love the mesh because you can see exactly what's in there. And then here's a front outside pocket where you can put things that are quick, maybe for yourself, maybe your phone, maybe the baby's pacifier, whatever you like to grab quickly, your keys maybe, anything that you need very quickly and very often should be right here in that front pocket. And it's a pretty long pocket and your cell phone can fit in there as well. So since these two items already fell out, I'm just gonna go with this. So here's another pouch. Um, this is a number two foods. Um, I try to get him three and four foods. The numbers mean thickness in the food. Anything that's a one is for newborns, you know, like beginners, not newborns, but beginners. A uh, baby that doesn't have any teeth yet, maybe five months old, starting to eat a little fruit or something, that's number one food. But he's nine months, so a lot of times I have to have something a little thicker, but these are, like I said, very convenient when I'm on the go. This is his juice box, and he drinks it straight from the juice box with the straw attached to it. So we got that. Um, I like to ha have plenty of bibs with me. To be honest with you, I like to use the bib you saw him on earlier. It's silicone, wipes out easily, has a pocket. I don't really run it under a, under a sink or anything unless it just gets really bad. But for the most part, if it's just a few drips, especially if I'm out and about, I just simply take a baby wipe and wipe it down in the front and wipe it out in the pocket and I just keep it moving. But today I have two bibs here. Um, if you have a baby that likes to snatch his bib off or her bib off like mine does, here is something that's really nice. You can just put it around their necks and they can't get it off. It's got pretty good coverage, but like I said, I love the silicone bibs and I think we only have about three of those. Um, so I prefer those because you have, these get really soiled. And <clears throat> if I'm home, I'll just take these and run them under the water with some done dishwashing dish liquid and it will get them clean immediately instead of just putting them in a basket somewhere and waiting a while, then it turns to mold and it's hard, harder to get out. So I'm giving you a little bit of tips too along the way, if you don't mind, while I share what's in the bag, but trying to be very concise as possible. Okay, um, my favorite a regular diaper, which I do use on his bottom and I use them as a burpee as well. But if they really spit up a lot down the shoulders everywhere, this is so absorbent, just quick cleanup without messing up so many uh, baby wipes. Okay, so here's some socks, extra socks, um, another bib. And I love to have clothes in the bag because I don't like my baby or babies to look a mess when they're out and about. If you're out running errands and your baby have an accident, and they're gonna get a few spots on their clothes, but when it gets really ridiculous to the point where it looks like you didn't even put them on clean clothes from the start, that's when it's time to change their clothes. Also, you should always have a change in clothes for um, blowouts. And if, any, if you're new, a new parent, and you don't know what a blowout is, a blowout is when poop goes all the way up the back, literally, down the legs, Sometimes it's on their neck, hands, everywhere. But mainly it goes up the back, up the chest. It's a blowout. And it's going to get on the clothes. So I like to have extra clothes with me. And of course you want to put clothes in the bag according to the weather. 
So at this point, we're doing pants, shirt, and socks. I have in the bag because sometimes the poop goes down in the socks, down in the shoes, and you have a the ultimate blowout. And you don't want to walk around not having any clothes for your baby. But if you're out and you don't, just simply go in one of these quick stores somewhere, Walmart or something really quick, and then you'll end up having to buy something for your baby to put on until you get home, especially if you're not going directly home. You just want to make sure you come prepared. So I say two outfits, shirt and pants and socks. And if you have a little girl, socks, tights, dress, whatever you put your child in, just make sure you have two, okay? So that is that. And if you pay attention to how often your baby goes through diapers, then you, you pretty much know how many diapers to put in the bag. Now, if you're new to my channel, um, I'm the grandmother. I take care of him during the day. And when he is out and about, I like to wear, use the disposable diapers, but if he's having a rough time with his skin, I will definitely use the cloth diapers and simply take a bag with me to put his soiled cloth diapers in. Cloth diapers is my preference. Now, these diapers came from um, Costco's. I bought these from Costco's and they are chemical free and if you've been watching my videos you know i've already discussed with you that there's no such thing as a totally chemical free diaper but these probably have less harmful chemicals in them and they came from costco's so but they call them chemical free and i do know i i notice a difference in them versus other diapers he doesn't get a, a rash as fast but for the most part, and also if you're on a budget and you're around the house, you want to save on diapers, then let them wear a cloth diaper for four to five hours. And that will save you probably about four to five hours, depending on how often you change your child or how often it's needed. It'll probably save you about four or five diapers, just that one cloth diaper because they're so absorb it okay so there we go we have the diapers here and then think about yourself when you're carrying this bag a lot and this i have this for the soil diapers if i'm somewhere like i don't know pediatric office doctor's office anywhere in the public where i'm sitting somewhere and you don't want to put soil diapers in a public office somewhere i like to use these this um, is a bag, really, and it attaches to your diaper bag, but I don't have it attached. And you pull it out, and it's just I don't want to pull it out since, you know, I can't put it back in there. Um, and you just use it to put your soil diapers in, your soil disposable diapers. Tie a good knot in it and put it in your bag, and the first chance you get, throw it out. That closes down the smell. You're not putting a soil diaper in a public place smelling up the room and you know just making it unpleasant to be there so you don't want to do that and to be honest with you you don't have to get these these are by mushi you don't have to get these you can simply go to the dollar tree somewhere and get the pet disposable bags for pets you know when you pick up poop for pets you can do that that's a cheaper version and if you don't want to do that because they're a dollar 25 if you don't want to do that Stick a few of your grocery plastic bags in your diaper bag, because I used to do that. Put plastic bags from the grocery store in your diaper bag, so if you get a soiled diaper, especially poop, and you don't have a, a good spot to toss it out yet, then tie it down in there, and then you get rid of it as soon as possible. Okay, the next thing that's in this bag here is for yourself. And these are antibacterial wipes. You can get them from anywhere. This came from Target. You want to keep antibacterial wipes. I don't particularly like the packaging of this bag, uh, this antibacterial wipe, because when you continue to open and close it a lot, it begins to rip, and then your wipes start drying out. They even start leaking. Matter of fact, this one is getting to the point where it doesn't want to close anymore. 
Okay, so this is for baby wipes. And you simply, if you get the large baby wipes, you just refill it here. And then, so that you can be quick when you have a child, you just go in this compartment here and pull, pull the wipes out. Okay, and right here, there is an extra bag for soiled diapers. Um, I have some diaper cream right now. This is the A and D Prevent. And here is a syringe in case he needs to take some medication. Um, pacifier in the front. That's something you need very quickly. <laughs> um, I don't have it in here right now, but I always suggest that you have Tylenol in the bag, always, when you're out and about, definitely have Tylenol. Your baby can get a temperature, or some people call it a fever, at any given time, and you wanna make sure you can knock that temp right out. Um, I don't know if anyone knows the seriousness of a temperature, but it is very, very serious. It can be very serious, I'll say that. Sometimes a temp is just a way to um, let parents know that the child is about to take on an illness. It could be a throat infection or ear infection or something like that, or it could be their teeth. They're starting to have to grow in their teeth. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and there's nothing in the back pockets here. I don't think we've ever put anything in the back. And I simply just pop it on like this on my back.